What if you could give your kids gifts that they would enjoy, ones that were affordable, educational, and better yet, ones that they did not tire of, ones that they could play with for years and years to come, instead of ditching it and pitching it on the floor within hours, days, or weeks of having the presents. Well, that's exactly what we're going to talk about today is I'm going to share with you guys my top favorites for educational toys, ones that will last and stand the test of time. So let's get started. <laughs> I'm Katie and welcome to Life in the Mundane. If you're new here, we're so glad to have you. As a second generation homeschool mom of six kids, I'm always looking for resources that are gonna help me in my homeschooling and encourage me in my biblical parenting. And that's exactly what we talk about here on this channel. So how would you like to have Christmas gifts that could actually help you with your homeschooling? Because they're all educational and engaging to your kids. So let's jump into a few of my favorites and hopefully it'll give you some ideas for your own children. First up on our list is the Junior Geostick Set. This is something sold by the Timber Doodle Company, which in general is just an amazing resource for educational toys that have that longevity. So you should totally check out their website. I will drop it down in the comments and in the description below. But um, anything you can find on their website is gonna kind of fall in this educational but stand the test of time. This one though is our favorite right now. It comes in a hard plastic case, which I always love it when it comes with storage. And it comes with over 200 pieces of various sizes and shapes. They're flexible and they have snap on one side and a hole on the other so that they can snap together and create different designs. This is the perfect quiet time activity when you're reading aloud to your kids and you want to keep their hands busy. A lot of people suggest Legos, but in my experience, the problem with Legos is that as they're rifling through to find the pieces they want to create, it is super loud. Not with these. These are really quiet, easy to use. They say you can use them as young as three. My two-year-old can use them, but she has some trouble snapping them together. But my three-year-old has zero problem snapping them together. They're flexible, so you don't have to worry about them breaking. And it comes with 30 double side activity cards. And just trust me, these are just to start the inspiration. There are endless ways that you can use these to build. So they have simple ones like just shapes, but they also have more complicated pictures for older kids so that they can inspire their creativity to create unique things. Imagine having your kids being able to play with these while you're reading and create something that they hear you talk about or letting them free with their imagination. My kids love the fact that because it snaps together, they can keep their creations, right? So they can work on something for a little while. If they need to walk away from it, they can, but they can come back and it stays the same. It also makes it more fun to be able to show to family members and friends when they know their creation is going to stay. You're taught to their older elementary kids are going to all be able to enjoy doing and creating with. Next up. Aquamats. There are a bunch of different ones of these on Amazon, but I'm going to link to a few of my favorites. Um, we actually got this for my kiddos a couple years ago and they still pull it out and play with it regularly. This is the perfect gift for your littles to play with while your kids, older kids are doing school, but even can be used for kindergarten or older, or even for your school age kids to work on their handwriting in a fun, different way. So what is it exactly? It's this water mat and it comes with little pins that you insert water into only. So if they draw on anything else other than the water mat, it's just gonna get wet and that's it. All sorts of cool designs on it. Mine even came with different stencils to do your numbers or your shapes. Some sets come with different stamps or um, again, more templates to trace. And my kids can play with this for hours. It's a great thing to keep littles busy. You don't have to worry about the mess and you can use it alongside them as you teach them their shapes and their numbers. And then there's different colors because each section of the mat, when you get it wet, will turn a different color. So it's just such a great opportunity to work on preschool or kindergarten level activities or for your older kids to incorporate some fun ways to work on handwriting or spelling words or things like that. Next up, magnetiles. Okay, let's be honest. I'm a homeschool mom. I can't afford magnetiles. If you guys have never seen these before, magnetiles typically go for almost a dollar a section which is just ridiculous. There are a lot of great off-brand options and I'll link my favorite down in the description below. But if you have never seen them before, magnet tiles are these simple magnet tiles. Very simple, right? And you can connect them together to create different designs. Things like castles, trains, animals, houses, Again, limitless options. Magnet tiles also make a really good read aloud or quiet time activity because there's not gonna be a lot of noise, but you're still gonna get that creativity that you get with Legos. 
The next one on my list is something for maybe some of your girls. And that is the handiwork crafts that they have on Amazon. Our favorite is the beginning cross stitch section. They have a lot of different ones. When you say beginner, they have ones for little, little girls on their hands and um, they make it really, really simple. You might have a small square. My daughter has actually been cross stitching, not because of me, but because of my sister-in-law who's been uh, who's been great working with her and teaching her how to do it. And she was ready for something a little bit more difficult than those simpler cross stitch crafts. But is she was ready for the next step, but not quite just going from a pattern to blank canvas. Instead, my mom was able to find her a cross stitch pattern that was fairly complicated actually, but had the pattern printed on the fabric. So she is following along, she's doing all the cross stitch work, but she's simply filling in the blanks. It's been a great transitional piece to keep get her from those beginning level skills with cross stitching to working her way into getting used to following a pattern and working on this. Guys, she has been working on this cross stitch for over a year now and has not tired whatsoever. She works on it a little bit at a time. She'll set it aside for a little while, pick it up again. Again, great to do during school while she's listening to audiobooks or podcasts. She even loves to do it in the car. So this is something that's really, really great, getting your kids to learn that skill of handiwork and using their hands productively. All right, the next one is snap circuits. These are amazing. We had a friend who passed down a set to us and the kids have loved it. It comes with a basic circuit board if you get the beginner kit. Make sure if you're looking, you get one of the kits that includes the base to it because they do have add-on kits. So just make sure you're getting the right thing, but I will link this one down below. But you've got a base board and you've got a power source and they are going to snap together and connect these sections to get the light or whatever activity it is at the end to turn on. This comes with lots of easy to use pieces and as long as they can snap things together, they can use it. Totally safe, but a great way to learn about electricity, how things work, about the connections and circuits, and so much more. It actually comes with a giant book full of different patterns and ideas of connections that you can make to complete different tasks. Maybe you're trying to get the light bulb to turn on. Maybe you're trying to sit, they have a, a spinning wheel on the top that you're trying to get to propel. All of these things, they've got problems that you can solve and they give you different patterns that you can follow to be able to fix these issues. My kids, seriously, I was shocked to see how long they could spend playing with this particular activity. Um, and they've gotten more creative. So they'll, they've followed the patterns in the book. This particular book has 182 different projects that they can do just with this base kit. Um, but then, like I said, the add-on kits you can get to promote even more learning. But but then my kids have enjoyed coming up with their own experiments and seeing how they can maybe get a little bit more creative. And it has been so much fun to watch them do this. Next up is our Kamigami bots. I hope I said that right. My kids always tease me because I don't usually say it right. But these robots are ones that my parents bought my kids two or three years ago. These robots are the perfect toy for kiddos who love to get into beginning programming and that are super fun. They're easy to use. They stay in the test of time, literally when it comes to holding up. We still have these robots after two to three years. And the best part, they're all under $20. Most of them are even under 15, which is such an awesome deal when it comes to this kind of toy. So why is this toy neat? Well, it's simple. All you need is the robot itself and it does not come pre-assembled. So there's this element and activity there of getting to assemble it and having your kids do it. The, re the instructions are pretty easy to follow. However, if you have little ones, like my kids were a little bit younger when they got this, and so they need a dad to help them put it together, which is probably the biggest pain of the whole thing. But it can be fun. Uh, it can be a fun way to have your older kids put these together as part of the gift because they make it where kids can follow the instructions. However, the real fun comes in playing with this toy. All you do need is a phone or a tablet to go alongside this. It's compatible with pretty much everything from what we found. Um, even if you have like an old cell phone laying around, it needs an internet connection, but nothing else, okay? So that's gonna be your remote. So you don't have to worry about losing the remote anymore. They can have their device be their remote. You love the app and it'll walk you through the setup process for it. And then they have easy programming um, commands that your kids can follow. So they can do preset ones like making the robot dance 
or making the robot go up or down, forwards, backwards, right? Typical robot commands. But then they can also go through and set a series of programming commands for the robot and then just press play and watch what happens. You can use these. These are actually made to be played with on their own, but they are even more fun when you have multiple robots because they actually will battle each other and it, my kids just had a blast with it. It got to the point where every single kid wanted their own Kamigami bot and they all still have them. Now, after almost three years, I am seriously, seriously impressed with how well these have held up and the play value just never ends. The next one is our waterproof Outlife camera. All right, if you have an aspiring YouTuber or just a kid that likes to take a lot of pictures or videos around your house and you want a way to encourage that creativity, we love this camera, right? We bought it for my son last year and he loved taking videos and then he would pull them off and edit them himself and make fun movies. He even learned how to do some stop animation with this particular toy. And while it is a toy and a kid's camera coming in at around $30, takes pretty decent quality photos and videos for kids, honestly, in my opinion. It does come with a waterproof case that you can use from taking it outside to get all those awesome nature shots or take them on your family adventures that waterproof case can come off and you can use it just as the camera itself. It comes with a lanyard so they can tie it around their neck. This would be the great, a great idea for you to give to your kids, like I said, to take outside to nature, but also maybe to do like video book reports or to do um, like oral narration through taking their own videos or taking pictures and putting together a slideshow or a PowerPoint project, sharing with you what they learned from this particular unit in science or history. Endless hours of entertainment in this one. For sure. One other thing that stands the test of time, board games. We use a lot of board games in our home, but there are so many board games I wanna share with you guys that I can't do it all in this video. The good news is this video is actually one in a series of videos called our Homeschool Holiday Gift Guide. And if you guys wanna check out that playlist, I would love for you to do that down below. You can see the videos we've already made on um, some of our other favorite holiday gifts that are gonna be work great for your homeschool. But we are also gonna be sharing next Saturday all about my favorite educational board games for your kids. These are gonna be amazing resources for you and your family, and you are not gonna to wanna to miss out on it. So be sure to hit the subscribe button, click the little bell notification to be notified so that you'll see that video when it first comes out. Happy holiday shopping, bye.